All right, let's talk a little bit about what is often called the box model. And um, it's important to start to think, and you will automatically start to think about um, each of the elements on the page as living in their own box. So for example, an A element even has a box, but certainly block elements um, like an H1 have a box. In this case, we can see very clearly what the box is because we've done a background color and we have this nice little border. One thing to note here is that boxes are greedy. That is to say, they will stretch and uh, across the screen and use as much of the screen as you let them use. Let's play a little bit with this. Um, there are basically a few pieces that make up the box. That's the content itself, the padding, the border, and then the margin. And so it's a good idea to have an understanding of what each of these are and where they hit in the box. So we're going to we're going to focus on this box that we created right here, which is the div of what people say, and it's a class and a quote here. And so we've had we already have addressed it with this ID here. And let's um just to make it a little bit easier, let's go ahead and have a a border and we'll do a let's do a 3 pixel uh, red dotted border. So here's the box that is the div, um, this div, and and you can see right now that there's actually zero padding and zero margin. So what do I mean by that? Um, we'll see about that in a second. First, let's go ahead and set a width for this. You could do a width, again, we're trying to limit ourselves to percentages, pixels, and Ms. Let's do a width in, in pixels in this case, and we'll make it, say, 300 pixels wide. Or let's make it a little wider so we can see it all on the screen, so 450 pixels. Um, so uh, a couple of things to note here. You'll note that then it, that it's not being greedy now, right? So it's only using up the amount of space we, we noted. We could put a height on this as well, but we don't want to because then we have to, heights are generally something we don't want to deal with because this height can change um, depending, oh, that, that's actually changing uh, screen size. So ignore that for a second. This height can change depending on um, the font size for the that you're you're holding stuff in and and a bunch of other factors that are really hard to decide on so generally i try to avoid heights except in some very specific cases so we've we've put a width on it um and we're saying that we want it to be 450 wide now as we see as we'll see in a second that can be a little bit problematic but let's start by talking about um padding so if we think of this as a box, let's do um, 20 pixels of padding. If we think of this as a box, the padding is the part that goes between the content and the outside of the box, right? So if you think about this as packing a box to be shipped or something, you might use some bubble wrap or some other kind of padding. And the padding goes around the content, but stays inside of the border of the box itself. So we've just added in 20 pixels of padding, and we have three pixels of, of three pixels wide of border here. The last piece is called um, margin. We'll add a new property. Oops, new property. Margin. And let's put in another 20 pixels of margin. Now, the margin is what goes on the outside. So just to give you an idea of what's going on here, um, we can see a picture of it. Um, we've got the margin, the border, the padding, and then the stuff on the inside, right? So. Um, what we've got here is there's the margin, 20 pixels, add another three pixels, add another 20 pixels, add another 450 pixels, add another 20 pixels, three pixels, 20 pixels. So basically we've got uh, 43, double that, uh, 86 plus 450 is uh, uh, 536. So we've got the total thing here is 536 wide. Note there that the, but the W3 standard is, is that this part, the inside, the content, is what is controlled by the width. So when we say width 450, it's just this part in here, not including the padding, the whatever width of the border we have, and whatever margin we have. Um, there's a slight problem here that lots of, especially earlier versions, but even current versions, if you don't do your doc type right, lots of current versions of Internet Explorer decided not to follow that standard and instead put the um, put the uh, the width being equal to the outside here. So it's something you have to be concerned with um, when you're dealing with Internet Explorer, and we'll talk more about dealing with the quirks of Internet Explorer and making sure that your pages work in IE as well. Um, but generally speaking, you can often think about it as being the width being right in here. Some people suggest you shouldn't do width and padding um, because it gets confusing for IE, but there's ways around that. Um, so that's the basic box model. It's important to be able to do this so that you can control layout, especially when we get to that.